Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And if you guys missed any of the previous videos on the leagues, I'm going to be leaving the playlist on the top of the description. Definitely go ahead and check out some of the other episodes. They are all unique. They're all special in their own way. But before we fully jump into the video today, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to over a thousand people that decided to subscribe yesterday. With your guys' help, we are at almost 75,000 subs as I'm recording this clip, which is honestly quite insane, so thank you very, very much. Also, at the start of the video, it is quite common that we show our stats. So here are the stats of our main account, and we're currently working on finishing our Undead Druids task, I think. And these are the stats on our AFK account, which is currently 99 strength and 95 attack. At the moment, rank 1 combat in the game. So with all that being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy today's video and uh, let's jump right into the content, I guess. 51 Slayer and I've been stuck at this task for a surprisingly long amount of time. I started here when I was probably about 60 range and I'm 67 and I'm still here and apparently I have 20 something left uh yeah I completely forgot that that actually exists we just got ourselves a grubby key guys okay I don't want to open it right now because I have full inventory so I think I'm gonna do one more banking here I do believe this is going to be a task as well which is really really nice so if I can get through here and open the grubby chest 10 D-Bones, Ranging Potion, Super Defense Potion, some food. Hey, it's not too bad, but let's see how many points we actually get for this. I assume only 10. That is correct. Finally, 52 Slayer, and that means we can now kill Jellies. Jellies drop um, Mithril Boots, and Mithril Boots are a requirement to complete some of the steps on the Medium Clue Scroll that we used to always drop. So that's good to know. Uh, so if we ever get Jellies, we can kill them, get Mithril Boots. Or if we just get that step of the clue, we might grind for the Mithril Boots. I honestly thought this day would never come. We have completed this quest. Oh my god. I mean, this uh, this task it took way too long, man. I want... I want ooh, way too long. But we ended up getting so much money, so many herbs from it, that... You know what? I honestly can't even complain. And we are 68 range, almost 70. 66 fletching we have all of these arrows that we eventually have to do and then once I can unlock brother fletching Those are the arrows that I'm gonna use we end up getting 48 heal giants pretty solid if you can if I can say so myself But I will first go and complete a couple of farming contracts Because well, I need seeds to be quite honest. So heal giants very nice. Let's get some installed heads for some prayer XP Let's quickly see what a new task is. I know I have to do my... Uh, oh, never mind. I'm doing sulfur lizards. I am very well aware I need to do my tithe farm. But ladies and gentlemen, I do not like tithe farm. So I'm postponing it as much as I possibly can. I think I'll go and do it after 70 range. And sulfur lizards are honestly quite a nice task. Alright, before we continue on with the video, a quick update on our... Oh, range level! We just got 70 range! I didn't even know that was gonna happen because I wanted to record my attack level! Because my attack level is almost 97, but I still need to do a little bit of uh, killing in order to get that. But before we continue on with the task, even if we have 16 left only, I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself uh, all the black dehyde armor that I have because it's gonna be very useful. It appears that I do not have my black set on this account, so I must have it on my Slayer account, but I do think I have Vembrace. Wait. Do I... No, you see, I have... Oh, it's just Bracers. Okay. I have the Bracers, which are... Those are good. How much bonus range do they give me? Like 11, uh, I think. And one more prayer bonus. Very nice. New task on the account will be... Temple of Spiders, again, um, don't have chains for them, but you don't really need them. But as I said way earlier, let's complete 82 farming for, like, insane amount of points, and then actually be able to pretty much unlock the relic already, I think. I mean, I can, I'll probably have to complete, like, 40 herb and the rune crafting, but let's do time farm. Prepare for the XP drops. 106,068, very nice. Look at the XP drops of these, man. 400, 400, 400. That is beautiful. 
Uh, we're gonna be making the- we need these to make a bunch of uh, prayer potions later on, so I'm farming them. Even though my contracts, I didn't take that task, as you can see. Obviously, I took the free banking, which was a mistake. Once again, I would not take the banking one, but we're gonna work with it. No worries. We should still have more than enough herbs. I mean, more than enough seeds, because realistically, right, we only have two patches. So I think we're turbo chilling regardless. Uh, but look at the experience, man. It's beautiful. Alright, the goal is to get 71 farming. Probably not gonna get it with these. It's gonna be... Ooh, not even that close, actually. Yeah, we need to do one more run. And then we can do the tier 3 ones. Oh, the... I hate this place, man. Alright, firstly, though, let's quickly collect some tasks. I think we have a few. 830 to 660. Very nice. Here we go, more experience, let's deposit 100 for, should be 106k again, very nice, 71 farming finally, that means we can now boost for the last uh, contract, like for the, no, no contract, for the last year of these seeds, which is gonna increase the experience by about 50 to 60,000, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and do a farm run, you know, the usual, I'm also gonna quickly finish fletching these bolts, um, we fletched a bunch of them, got to 67 fletching, which is pretty nice, and, uh, yeah, farming is looking nice. We have, what, I think 11 levels to go, though. So it's definitely a grind, um, but, hey, it's all worth it. It's gonna be all worth it because we're gonna be getting the points, so let's do it. Alright, so I can't take this, but if I eat my garden pie, I can then take it. And I only need to have the boost while I'm planting, pretty much. So we might have to make more pies eventually, but nice. I instantly find the free world, which is pretty important. And hopefully I can plant, like, the full first rotation already. Alright, that was already a diary, nice. Here we go, we just planted 100 Logavano seeds. And I do think that's an elite task again, so that should be 250 points, which is insanely OP. That's why we do the time farm. I'm gonna try to quickly do this. Yoink! That was correct. 410 points, and once again we get 250 once we enter the highest tier in the farming guild. For that we need 82, that's what we're going for. And then we get extra points for equipping full farmer's outfit, which is also something we should get while we're doing this. So, a lot of points ahead of us, and I'm on my final stretches of this grind, and I absolutely hate it, but uh, it's all gonna be worth it. Here we have it. Can we get to 74 farming with this 100 Logavano fruit? The XP drop should be insane. Let's see it. Ooh, it's 174,000. Do we get 7? A ah, curva, 73. Ah. All right, we're gonna need to get more garden pies. And one more hit. And there we have it. 98 attack. Holy moly. Accomplished on the account, one more level to go, and there's currently zero players with 99 attack and strength, so it very much looks like we will be the first, which is quite a nice accomplishment, even though I did only AFK on that account. I have a lot of plans still for it in the future days, um, but that is very, very nice to see, and I'm happy with it. So one more level to go. I don't know how much XP I'm gaining per hour, but I reckon I'll get this in no time. Here we go, we've done another run, 20 minutes later, and we are completely out of garden pie, so I'll have to make one more in the future for the boost for the highest tier in the guild. But this experience never gets old, 174k, 75 farming, beautiful. What's the total level in this account? 1382, not bad. So we need 7 more levels, but let's see, can we get ourselves any... Ooh, farmer's legs. I think I want to go for those and then leave the jacket for the end. So we're gonna buy the legs again. How much XP with the with the legs? One hundred and seventy-five thousand. I only got one level. Ah, uh, this will take so long. I hate it, man. <laughs> Here we go, I'm taking a small break after this, because I've been doing this for 5 hours straight with no breaks, it is extremely click intensive, but here we have it, 80, and with the next one I'll get 81, so I probably need to do 2 more runs in total. Now the good part about reaching level 80 is you also get 100 points, so let's go and collect those. Boom, and we have 300 left, and once we get 83, we get 250, it should be very easy, we don't need to do anything else to get the points, however, for now, I'm gonna take a small break, I'll be back, you guys won't even notice it, and we're gonna go for 81, and then 82 farming. What a grind today, man, what a grind. Well, there's the beeping sound in the back, and I just achieved 99 attack, and I have fruits here that I need to pick, because if I don't, I, yeah, hold up one sec, I'll talk in a second. 
Okay, the beeping sound is gone, and here we have it. 99 attack, also accomplished. 99 strength, also accomplished. So that means we need to start training defense, and I'll bother and I'll worry about being rank 1 in these stats a little bit later, not quite right now. Um, and when I do have the 99 HP or 80 defense, I will also have enough points, I think, or maybe not, to unlock the new relic. So I'm just AFKing here still until the point where I stop actively playing this account, and then that account that is this account right here is gonna be doing some fun stuff. So right now, it's totally fine that we just chill it here. It's gonna be of great use for some future videos and plans that I have in mind. If I'm not mistaken, I only need to do two more games. So this is the first one. There is 175k, and I was wrong, what? All right, I have to do two more games, I guess. But wait, if I do a farm run right now, I might be good, honestly. I might be good, I might be chilling. And then as I complete the next one, I should have enough points to buy a top and at the same time get 82, which will be huge. I'm obviously not gonna do two more full games. So one more full game and we are done. Boys, I've been doing this. You guys don't even wanna know how for how long. It's horrible, but it's all gonna be worth it when, when we are done. Here we have it, the grind that I did not want to do, but I did it anyways, and there we have it, 175,000 XP for 82 farming, doesn't even give me anything, but with a th plus 3 boost we can now enter the highest tier of the farming guild. Now if I can quickly get myself hands on the, uh, on the body, oh nice, I can buy it, okay, let's see, alright, body, let's not make a mistake here, jacket, Thank you, that's gonna be a task, boom. If I'm not mistaken, that's 100 points right here. Let's see, collect. Nice, and now I should get 250 by just entering the guild. And then we have our tier 5 relic. Uh, you have to be kidding me. I don't have any onions. I need onions for the garden pie and I have zero. Well, while I'm waiting for my onions to grow, I might as well complete a couple of achievement diaries and the first one being this one uh, to make a strength potion in this pub. I'm just gonna make a few because one... Actually, no, I probably shouldn't. I'll do this, I'll get more XP if I do it later. Uh, the good thing about that though is I can go respawn teleport and get a couple of rewards for that. And if I speak to Lady Elise right here, I should be receiving a lamp. And the uh, corner blessing, so that's very nice. I mean Radha's blessing. And I'll ask for another one. Um, if I ever want to go fishing, uh, I just teleport to Woodland and run there. Uh, let's see. I do want to use this on runecrafting, but I currently can't because it's not level 30, I'm pretty sure. So if we click it, runecrafting, we can't choose it. So I'm going to get uh, one runecrafting level from the books while we're waiting for my crops to grow anyways. Here we go, I just needed three books, I already collected one, and I know how much XP I get, so with this one, we now get to 30 runecrafting, very nice, and now we can finally use the lamp, once again, on a runecrafting, to get all the way to 36, that is huge. I have probably never been this happy to see onions on the game, cause that means those are garden pies, and then we finally unlock tier 5 relic. I still need to go to Hazidios and actually make the pie, I think, but... It's gonna be all worth it once I have it. And I'm just gonna plant these strawberries for now because I feel like that's gonna be my next contract. And if these die, I have these here, so it's okay. We finally have the garden pies. I decided to make five of them because why not? And here we have it. Let's get our points. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is happening. Boom, click this. These dumb idiots just let me in. And there it is, enter the farming guild's high, high tier, go tasks, claim them. Oh, look at this, isn't that just beautiful? We can now select a new relic. Right, so here we go, relics, and for you boys, let's explain what each of the last tier relic does. Now, first one, Xeric's focus is absolutely insane. I'm so... I want it on this account too, but I said to myself, listen, I can relax a little bit, it's fine. We're gonna unlock this one on our, like, super combat account or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but as you can see, you basically gain attack speed on everything. Like, knives become freaking machine guns. Everything is really, really strong. This will be insane on our Slayer account, but not for this one, unfortunately. 
Now Xerix Resilience is more for like AFKers, could be fairly decent maybe, but I think out of the three, by far the worst relic uh, to take. And then, ladies and gentlemen, Xerix Wisdom. We will gain two times XP in every skill, but that is multiplicative, which means that all the multipliers we have from beforehand, now we get two times on top of that. Which means, like, this is gonna, this is crazy for this account. We're, like, we're talking Artisan, already get, we're, we, we already get two times XP here, but then we get, like, five base XP plus two times base XP is ten times XP, and then on top of that, Xerix Wisdom, we will be getting twenty times XP in certain skills, and that is just too good for this account to not take. So, ladies and gentlemen, Xerix Wisdom is going to be the last relic we will unlock and uh, yeah I, I'm, I think I'm decided we're going with this one select confirm Xerix wisdom there it is boys oh my god I get a thousand XP for creating a regular strength potion Oh, I'm just going to the point where I can create prayer pots. I probably have about 200 prayer pots worth of supplies already in my bank. I need 38 for that, but god damn XP is coming in. I'm so happy. Just look at that. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. That's so good, man. That's so good. I wonder what my Herbler level can get to. I'm probably obviously gonna go for 99, but there it is, 38. Is that prayer potions? That is prayer potions. And look at this. We are already kind of prepared. We definitely need more Renars, but let's see experience drops. Oh, that's so good, man. That is so good. Now that we have the two times experience rates, we can focus on an unfinished business, which is at the moment 99 fishing. So there was just 96, three more levels to go. I ended up buying a bunch of feathers, the ones that I have over the 99 limit I'll use for fletching later on. So that's no problem there at all. And once again, I am collecting all of these clue scrolls that we will complete, you know, at some point in the future of the leagues. So... I am just chilling right now, I'm enjoying it, and uh, I ended up getting fi 55 Herbler earlier from all sorts of different potions already, so progress is looking very, very nice. Well, 97, uh, just watched basically full Harry, Mo well, Harry Potter, I can't speak, dude, I basically watched full Harry Potter movie between these, uh, between these levels, so pretty good, pretty good, hey, two more, more, two more to go, and uh, nice! We are fishing till 99 on our main, so that brings out the Mika AFK special, the account with 299s and zero focus. Um, it appears that we can take something like Dust Devils, for example, now, which would be kind of cool, if you ask me. Um, looking at these tasks, there's a couple of things that I want to do on this account. The problem is this fucking farming level, dude, but I swear to God, man, I went through all of that farming on my main, and I have a feeling that in the very near future... I'll have to do this whole 8 hour grind on this account too. Because I'm just losing out on like all the farming stuff man. Ah, oh, being this low it's really shit. But, but, I was thinking to maybe give Dust Devils a shot. I don't know if I should do it already or not. Um, also Jellies perhaps. You know, uh, decent ones to look at. Uh, or maybe Temple Spiders. Also fairly decent and I could somewhat AFK them. Especially with these stats, but it appears that those are pretty commonly camped, so I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, let's give Dust Devils a shot. Just got myself Brimstone Key. I'm testing how lazy I can be with these tasks, and uh, no, my gear is unfortunately not good enough to the point where I don't need to prayer against them. So we're gonna do something this man right here has done, and we're gonna get ourselves these Shade Robes. Uh, but there it is, 83 defense, let's get those shades, they're very good prayer bonus gear, so we're gonna go and get those uh, momentarily. Here there are the shades, hopefully I don't get smacked by a... Uh... We're good, we're good. There we go, shade rope top as well on the account. Now, let's compare, right, to zero prayer bonus to nine prayer bonus. I mean, the difference is pretty huge, it's pretty huge, so... Very nice, let's go back to the respawn teleport um, and kill some dust devils, now it should be a bit more fun. 
I think until I can finally get myself some prayer potions, I'll actually just use the suicide strategy. So I'm just gonna attack them, pray melee and nothing else. And basically when my prayer runs out, I'll, I'll just die. And then I'll spawn right here, I'll run back, I'll pick everything up and attack them again. I think that strategy is probably gonna work well for me, simply because, um, well... I don't know actually why it would work well. We'll see, we'll see, we'll test it out. I'm still in the AFK mood. I mean, I'm living up to my name, so let's see how it goes. Oh, well, uh, just one more level to go. Yeah, things are looking... Dude, yo, two times XP, boys. It's so good, man. It's so good. I'm getting this level so fast. I'm 74 agility, 73 strength. I'm chilling, man. I'm... Oh, dude, you guys have no clue. I'm just here attacking the dust devils. I'm getting my fishing levels. Life is nice, man. Life is nice. The task is completed. We have 288 points. This task is awesome. I think I can pull it off on the side of the screen. As you can see, we have killed 105. 86k in cash. I basically picked up all of it. And a bunch of uh, other loot. The one that steps out the most is obviously cash, the battle staffs, the chaos runes, and the soul runes. Those are gonna be pretty damn useful. Now there is one thing that I haven't really been doing on this account, and that is collecting points. I still have not collected any points from any 99s, and, uh, from like 99 attack I think, and from other skills like 85 defense. So I have a feeling I'm pretty close to the next relic. Let's see how many points do we still need? 90. I feel like I should push it through maybe just getting a couple of ranged levels because I do get an accuracy increase. So I was kind of contemplating what tasks I should take because honestly, you can read the name, right? I want to AFK and honestly, I went through the catacombs and I saw a place where nobody killed hill giants. And I think they are actually insane with my perks. So I'm going to go there right now. I'll obviously show it on the video. So I swear that if this spot gets camped now that I showed it, I'm gonna not be happy. I also think I just banked my brimstone keys and didn't actually open anything with them. So hopefully I'll remember that I actually have those in my bank at some point. But yeah, I forgot. Okay, so there's Cyclops here. Oh, look at it. That's what I had in mind. I see, I've seen this, these giants when I was going for the robe, um, like shade robes. I saw these giants and I saw that nobody was here. So this should be so fast. Look, look at this. 600 XP for every giant. And I actually wonder, I brought this from my bank. Can I still reanimate them right here? Let's see if it works. The power... Oh, so maybe I need to get them as a drop first. And then I can abuse the system. We'll see. I brought 10. We'll see if I can do it. I'll let you know in the clip if it's possible. Alright, here we go. We got insult head drop, boom, pick two of them up, and I should be able to obviously reanimate them, because that's usually how it works. But can I actually reanimate more than two? Well, let's figure it out, so... Brother! I also really have no reason to collect these giant keys. I thought it would be cool, but nah, I'm just gonna drop them, no point of them uh, filling my inventory. Wait for it, prayer coming through, it worked this time. Here we go, boys. I decided to just, you know, use my insult heads on the actual place. 67 prayer already coming through. I have a bunch of these in the bank, like 50. So, uh, alt higher than main. Oh, yeah, by far. My main is combat level 68. My alt is combat level 117. But I have no other stats because I also have no intention of training them either. But uh, this is so fun. Look, 6.5k XP pretty much all the time I do this. It's kind of nice, man. I like it. The nature runes are a bit of a... Struggle to get but you know what we're gonna complete a couple of clues on that account as well Not a lot, but a few just so we maintain these runes Maybe we're even gonna do an undead druid task because they do drop these runes quite often so um, But for now, let's uh, get probably another prayer level and keep taking the tasks and get our slayer level up I think I know exactly what I want to do. I'm just gonna go for like 20 or 40 wood cutting and then 20 or 40 fire making just so I can unlock the next relic very quickly. I got them both to 20. I think that's gonna be 20 points, no? Yeah, let's get them to 40. Fuck it. I mean, I have to do it, right? So it's just gonna be worth it, honestly. There we go. We did it. We got to 40, 40, and now tasks, and now claim points, and now I can unlock fourth relic on this account. Um, I think it's pretty simple. We're gonna go with wait, uh, not this one. Is this one the one that gives me you gain 10% increased accuracy and damage with melee magic and ranged when fighting creatures? This boost increased to 30% when fighting creatures, which you're assigned to a slayer task. Absolutely, please do give me that one. 
I'm absolutely in love with this relic, you are so accurate, I hit almost no zeros. I mean, it is true that I'm 99 attack, but my gear is fucking trash, like I've ruined scimitar, that's it. And yet I'm here hitting 20s very consistently, I really like the relic, and I really wish I could somehow go for the next one, but uh, on this account it's gonna take me a long time until I unlock the 5th relic, but the attack speed one is gonna be huge for the account when I do get to that point. I stayed up pretty much all night to finish this level and just before I do it, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for 75,000 subscribers on the YouTube and here we have it, 99 fishing, a second 99 on the account, we have 99 farm making, 99 fishing and the next one is probably gonna be wood cutting i think it is very afk i want to get the logs to then finish 99 construction guys construction is going to be huge because it is the only skill cape that you can actually get on zia now if you guys are wondering how many um fish we actually caught uh also these are the clue scrolls pretty nice uh 26 hearts not all of them coming from fishing but i have them stacked on the side i'll do them at some point when i need cash um but if we take a look at the fish I don't even know if I'll be able to find it in this mess of a house. There it is. There's one. There's sleeping trout. Uh, what? A, I guess it's sleeping, right? There it is. Look at them, man. Look at them. All right. Let me just uh, take them noted. I don't think they have any value, but it does look good having 15,000 leaping trout, 8,000 leaping sturgeon, and 10,000 leaping salmon. If this was 07, can I? Could I even sell those? Mate, I'd be balling 1 million worth of fish. Probably not really sellable. But nonetheless, I really do hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And if you did, a simple like would be highly appreciated. And I guess our new goal on the YouTube is to reach 100,000 subscribers. And that would be pretty much a dream of mine for the past 4 years. Um, as long as I've been doing YouTube videos pretty much. But yeah, see you once again tomorrow with a brand new video. And until then, I hope you're going to have a wonderful day and bye-bye.